I'm sure if anyone lives below you and you do this, they won't like you anymore. But you know, your hamstring will still love you. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the half marathon I've been training so hard for has been canceled. We have to give a huge thank you to Nike for sponsoring this video and for thinking about the health and safety of all the runners that were gonna participate in this half marathon. We are socially distancing ourselves in order to flatten the curve. Just because you're quarantined at home doesn't mean you shouldn't be exercising. In fact, now is a better time than ever to start a running program. So I wanna take you through my running program. Yes, I was training for the half marathon that's been canceled, but I've fallen in love with running since and I want you to also. I'm gonna take you on a full training day with me from getting dressed, warming up, to exercising, and then even recovery. The key to dressing for a long run when it's cold out is to not only dress in layers, but to dress warmly with light fabrics. For example, that's why I like wearing tights. When I put these on, I stay warm, but they're not heavy. I see too many people put on like a bubble jacket to go jog or run, and I'm like, that can't be comfortable. A lot of people buy gloves to run, I don't. I just make sure the clothes have little adjustments like this where you could stick your fingers through and keep your fingers nice and cozy. If I'm gonna be bringing my cell phone with me for the run, which I do, obviously patients need to reach me, I am a doctor. If I put it in my pocket here, the entire run, it's just banging on my thigh here. That's not comfortable, I get chafing, it starts hurting. What instead I like to do is to have a pair of running shorts that have a pocket just like this, where you can squeeze your cell phone in and it stays stable while you run. I need one of my most important accessories, that's my Apple Watch here. It's the Nike branded Apple Watch, so it has the Nike strap, which is breathable. It checks my heart rate, lets me know how I'm doing. If I don't have my cell phone with me, it has the audio guided runs in here, as well as a GPS tracker to show me how far I ran, where I ran. It's nice to have that kind of objective data for your runs, so you could look back two weeks later and say, hey, I'm improving, or I'm not. I need to change something up. I got my my base layer on and it's really breathable, but on windy days, that's not great. So I have to put on a top layer that's gonna be not only windproof, but waterproof as well. Because in New York City, the weather can be quite bipolar and it can go from sunny to raining in like a millisecond. It has a vent in the back, also pretty breathable. And look at this hood. Bah! The most important part of my run is the Nike React Infinity sneakers. Now look, I'm not a runner, I'm putting a huge strain on my body, and these shoes have held up nicely. I'm a huge fan. Nike sent me four colors, and I feel like one of them is missing. My favorite features about the React Infinity Run Shoe is that it has a really flexible knit on top, so your foot feels like it's almost wearing a sock. And on the bottom, you have the rocker bottom, so your foot transfers energy well. There's a lot of cushioning there. I feel really good when I run in these. That's why I know why this guy really likes wearing them. My React Run Infinity Shoe. A proper warm-up isn't only important to reduce the risk of injuries, but also to get the most out of your runs possible. It's about dynamic warm-ups, getting the blood moving, getting the full range of motion out of your muscles, lunges, squats, anything you need to do to get your heart pumping. The first five to 10 minutes of a run are usually the hardest for me because I'm either getting up in the morning, coming home from a long day in the hospital, or maybe even filming a YouTube video. Lucky for me, I have someone special in my ear every single time I run. Coach Bennett, the Nike running global head coach. Coach Bennett, I'm a huge fan of yours. I mean, like, first day I met you at Nike Immersion Day, you got me more excited about running than I've probably been amongst any other sport I've participated in. I play all types of sports. I'm a black belt taekwondo, basketball, boxing, everything. Why do you love running so much that it just has an impact around everyone who hears you speak? Well, first I'll say two, two of the sports you mentioned involve you fighting some other person. So I think it wasn't, it probably wasn't too tough to get you excited about running. I've been able to experience running the right way. And I know that almost everyone experiences it the wrong way. It's very similar to if you've ever been about to go into a store and you see somebody pulling on a door that says push and you just kind of tap them on the shoulder and you're like, it's, you know, just, just push. And it's just, it's sometimes it's that simple. If you can get people to run the right way, 
it's an unbelievable sport to be a part of. There's five okay. million people, or at least five million potential people watching you right now. They're eager to learn about running or they're running at some point in their training. What's the one message you have to give them? Be kind to yourself. Why? I think that's, that, that's the most important thing. I think because it's kind, if you're kind to yourself consistently, you're gonna find out that kindness does not equate with weakness. It comes from it comes from strength. Since I work primarily with runners, I know just how cruel we can be to ourselves. And if you can just start from a little bit of kindness and patience and tolerance, they they all mean basically the same thing, which is just you know being open. Um, something great can happen. I coached high school for seven years, and uh, I would say that most of the principles that I developed from coaching high school, I've just maintained. I, I, I coach everyone like they're 16. Um, and I think most people deep down are really just 16 year olds. Um, I think as you get older, maybe you're just putting a couple layers of cynicism um, and, and regret and things like that on there. But deep down, you're 16. And 16-year-olds are battling just as much, if not more, than adults. They just are a little bit more optimistic, and they feel like there's a little bit more opportunity for them to, to maybe take that risk. Um, yeah, but for me, I saw how running um, was two hours during the day at practice, where the stress of school or terrible things going on at home, um, it was an opportunity for them to really feel like they had control and that they were improving. That's the mission of the runs, is that give people that one thing, hopefully there's more, but we can work on that one thing where they know that, that I got better at. I have Coach Bennett and the audio guided runs, but sometimes you need a proper workout partner. And I'm just trying to make some friends, you know what I'm saying? Hey guys, you wanna run with me? You wanna run with me? Run with me! I really consider myself blessed that I get to run in New York City on the west side, have the intrepid here, the beautiful New York City skyline, the water. I didn't even really have a full plan of where I'm running today. Didn't even track this run, but that's okay. Got like 35 miles in this week. My legs are really sore. And that leads me into my next talking point about teaching you about recovery. You need to sleep, you need to eat well, you need to nap sometimes. And most importantly, if you're in New York City, you might want to visit Nike's secret recovery room. Let's do it. to do some therapy, compression, percussion therapy, sleep therapy, and even foam rolling with vibrational features. I'm gonna explain each and every one of those as I do them. Come on, let's go. The first thing that may jump out on you are these giant compression boots I have on. Traditionally, compression boots are not this long, but these are the super athletic versions called Normatec. They actually push and compress from the bottom of my legs moving up. There's a sequence to this to get the lymphatic drainage going, to aid in recovery, to get circulation back and help my muscles feel primed for my next run. I'm also wearing this Hyper Ice Venom Belt that's massaging my low back through vibration and giving me some heat therapy. As I've told you before, heat therapy is amazing because it brings more circulation to an area, which not only helps recovery, but also boosts performance. And boy, I gotta say, this feels good. All right, I talked about sleep at night, but you gotta get your naps in too. Uh, I recommend keeping your nap short because otherwise you're gonna disrupt your natural circadian rhythm. You won't get sleepy at night. I have their binaural beat system here that's gonna play sounds to aid in my relaxation process. And boy, do I need this nap right now. I filmed, ran today, about to do some doctor work. I need to recover. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna get a few Zs. Lines, sounds. <sighs> Foam rolling is not for everybody, but for those who enjoy it like myself, I think I've come to the Mecca. We have all sorts of foam rollers here. We have a standard roller here that's padded from Nike that I like rolling out my calves on. Oof, God. You know, after a long run, you got that tightness, or even before a run, I really enjoy foam rolling. Look, it's no magic pill, but it's definitely a way to get blood moving. 
uh, improving rangers of motion, breaking up some scar tissue. Uh, all right, that's your standard roller. Then you have the one you can control yourself. Ooh, for the quads, the IT band, where runners have a lot of issues. A lot of my patients come in. Some people refer to this as the peanut. I like it for the spine here. Oh, it feels so good. No need to use tennis balls anymore. Then we have this bad boy. It's also a roller of sorts. But check this. Oh. Oh. Oh, the hammy. Oh, the hammy. Might be. And last but not least, my favorite tool. After a long run, actually after any exercise, a little percussion therapy. This is like getting a massage, but without actually having to pay anyone to massage you. You can just do it to yourself. The purpose of all these tools is to aid in recovery. And you know what aids in recovery? Allowing your body to heal itself to return to its optimal state. How do you do that? Increasing circulation, increasing range of motion through stretching, through foam rolling, through compression gear, just like they have here at Nike NYC Soho. And guess what? In order to use all of this gear for free, all you have to do is buy a pair of the Nike React Infinity Run Shoes in one of the four New York City stores that they have here, specifically the Manhattan stores. Oh. Thick thighs need love too. Both Nike and I clearly take our recovery seriously, but you have to remember the purpose of all of this is to not let running stop you from running. Also, don't let a quarantine stop you from running. Just do it. Uh, just do it, but six feet away from others, obviously. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, huge thank you to Nike for sponsoring this video. I'm loving my Nike React Infinity Run Shoe. Definitely check out the link down below and pick up a pair for yourself. I put together a playlist for you right here of some of my favorite videos. And if you didn't see my visit to Nike World Headquarters, click here. Which one are you gonna click while you stay happy and healthy? Mm -hmm.